Hello, my name is Michael Crawford. I'm the manager of the Cardiac Rehab Program at the Cleveland Clinic and a certified clinical exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine. Uh, when I'm talking with people about exercise during the winter months, they often ask about what to do when it's cold outside. It's still acceptable to exercise in cold weather as long as you take certain precautions. Uh, things to keep in mind is that the cold will make the exercise more difficult because your body is not only trying to do the exercise, but it's trying to keep itself warm. Uh, some very simple things to do is to make sure you're wearing protective clothing. So cover all exposed areas, including gloves, hats, and clothing. Uh, dress in multiple layers to create warm air barriers and wear clothing that will help to keep you dry. Uh, it should remove the moisture from your skin as well as an external layer that will prevent snow or uh, rain from saturating your clothing. Uh, other tips are when you begin exercise, you can start walking facing the wind and then have the wind at your back once your body heats up to avoid some of that, uh, that cold, uncomfortable feeling. Uh, please keep in mind that the conditions outdoors can also create hazards. Snow, ice, and rain can create slippery surfaces. Uh, also, decreased visibility from uh, less daylight hours, snow, and rain can also create safety issues. So wear visible clothing and just use common sense when exercising outdoors. Uh, Temperature-wise, uh, once the temperature does hit just 50 degrees, we increase our risk of hypothermia. Once the temperature hits around 30 degrees, we start to increase the risk of frostbite and frost nip. Uh, a lot of times people will ask, when is it too cold to be exercising? A good rule of thumb is once the air temperature hits 10 degrees, there is a significant increased risk of cold-related uh, disorders. So that might be your signal of avoiding outdoor activity at that time. But we do all have our own tolerance for what is too cold. If you feel that it's too cold outside, consider some indoor activities. Uh, one simply would be is if you have a gym or recreation center, please use it. Your money will be well spent. Uh, if you have any exercise equipment at home, treadmill, indoor cycle, you could use those. And then of course, there's a lot of great technology out there where there are apps that you can use on your smartphones. Uh, there's also TV exercise channels and the good old fashioned DVDs that can be used for uh, indoor activity. Uh, the winter season does bring the opportunity to try activities you may not do on a regular basis. So consider something new like cross-country skiing or snowshoeing just to break up the routine of exercise.